In this lesson, we're going to learn how to transform a non-rigid transformation. We're talking about dilations. So a dilation is simply enlarging or reducing an image. There is a center of dilation in which the point or image is being dilated. We also have a scale factor which tells us how many times bigger or smaller the new image will be. So the center of dilation is simply a fixed point on the plane. Sometimes it's the origin and sometimes it may be a point on the actual pre-image. If the image or pre-image is being enlarged, all the points are being pushed away from the center of dilation. If our pre-image is being reduced, all the points are being pulled toward the center of dilation. So let's talk about the scale factor. We're going to use the variable k to represent scale factor. When we enlarge a pre-image, our scale factor is going to be more than 1. If we are reducing a pre-image, our scale factor is going to be between 0 and 1, such as 1 half or 1 third. When the scale factor is 1 itself, we're simply just recreating or duplicating the pre-image, and we just get the exact same image. Now let's take a look at our center of dilation. Here we have the triangle ABC, and here is our center of dilation. And if we are enlarging this shape, you can see that our new shape, DEF, all the points are being pushed away from our center of dilation. So let's talk about the scale factor. If ABC is our pre-image, and DEF is our image, the new shape, the way we calculate scale, our scale factor is we take a corresponding pair of sides, such as 6 and 12, AB corresponds to DE, and we create a ratio. So you take the length of your new image, 12, and you compare it to the pre-image length of 6, and this simplifies to 2. So we can see that our scale factor is 2, and we enlarged each length by 2. So let's talk about corresponding parts. So we see our statement here. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So this is our notation for similar. Similarity just means that they are the same shape, but a different size. What I like to do is I like to create a vertical alignment of my statement, and then I can see that AB corresponds to DE, BC corresponds to EF, and side AC corresponds to DF. You can also correspond your angles. We see angle A and angle D are corresponding. They're in the same location. B and E correspond and C and F correspond. So again, I like to do this to help me know which parts of my triangle sides and angles correspond. Now let's go the other way. Let's erase some of this real quick. Let's say that our pre-image is triangle DEF. And if I wanted to know my scale factor, if DEF is our pre-image and ABC is our new image and we are pull, all of the points is being pushed toward the center of dilation. So to identify the scale factor, you take a measurement of the pre, I mean, excuse me, you take a measurement of the new image such as six and you compare it to the length of the pre-image 12, and we simplify, and this time we get one half as our scale factor instead of two. And we can see that our pre-image is shrinking and being reduced. So our scale factor is between zero and one, indicating the image is shrinking. 
Now let's talk about the center, um, the dilation with the center at the origin. So here is the origin. We can see that A, B, C, D, rectangle A, B, C, D is our pre-image. And you notice that our new image, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, is enlarged. All of your points are being pushed away from the center of dilation, which is the origin. So when the center, when the dilation has a center at the origin, this is your rule. D for dilation, the dilation center is the origin. Here is your K value. So the way we would write that is we would take all of our pre-image coordinates and we would simply multiply by the scale factor of two or three or whatever the scale factor is. So here is your rule when the center of dilation is about the origin. So let's take a look at some examples. In the next few examples, our center of dilation is going to be the origin. So let's take a look at our pre-image coordinates. A is negative 3, 1. B is negative 3, 2. And C is negative 1, 1. Our new image coordinates is negative 6, 2. Negative 6, 4 and negative 2, 2. So we can see that we went from a coordinate of negative 3 to negative 6 and 1 to 2. So we simply multiplied our pre-image coordinates by 2, indicating our scale factor is 2. So the way we write the rule is D for dilation. The center of dilation is the origin, that's an O, and our scale factor is two. We could also see graphically that AB corresponds to A prime B prime, and we can see that AB was a measurement of one unit, and A prime B prime is a measurement of two. So we could see that our new image is being enlarged by a scale factor of two. In this example, our pre-image is the larger shape, so let's identify the coordinates. Again, the center of dilation is the origin. A is 3, negative 3. B is 6, negative 3. And C is 6, positive 3. A prime is 1, negative 1. B prime is 2, negative 1. And C prime is 2, comma 1. So if we want to do this algebraically, we would take one coordinate from the new image. So we can take, let's compare 1 to 3. So our scale factor is the new coordinate compared to the original coordinate, the pre-image. So our scale factor is 1 third. We could also compare the Y coordinates negative one compared to negative three is a scale factor of one third. So we can see that our scale factor of one third has shrunk our pre-image and it has pulled the points toward the center of dilation, the origin. So it's being pulled toward. So our rule D for dilation about the origin and the scale factor of one third. And again, we could see that a, a, B is three units, A prime, B prime is one, and when we compare, we have our new measurement compared to the original measurement. So always remember, scale factor is the image compared to the pre-image. It's like the new compared to the old or the original. This time we are given the rule and we have to dilate our pre-image ABC 
by 1 half. So our coordinates for A is negative 4, 2, B is negative 6, negative 2, and C is negative 2, negative 2. The scale factor is 1 half. We are shrinking it, and it's going to be pulled toward the origin because our center of dilation is the origin. And all we have to do is multiply by K. Negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. 2 times 1 half is 1. So that's going to put A prime at negative 2, 1. It's being pulled toward that center of dilation. B prime is negative 3, negative 1. And C prime is negative 1, negative 1. So you can see the pre-image coordinates are being pulled toward the origin to create our new image. Our pre-image A is negative 3, negative 1. B is negative 3, negative 2. C is negative 1, negative 2. Our scale factor is 2. Our center of dilation is the origin, so all of our coordinates are going to be pushed away by a factor of 2 to create our new image. So A prime is going to be negative 6, negative 2. We are simply multiplying our pre-image coordinates by our scale factor of 2. So A prime is negative 6, negative 2, again being pushed away from the origin. B prime is negative 6, negative 4. And C prime is going to be negative 2, negative 4. And then we connect our triangle. Okay, now let's talk about when our center of dilation is not the origin, but a point on our pre-image. You cannot just multiply by your scale factor. You can't take all your pre-image coordinates and multiply by the scale factor to get your new coordinates. You cannot do that. We have to do it by observing and counting. So you can see that in this example, we have A, and I'm going to go ahead and put A prime here because our center is going to be, our center of dilation is point A. Everything is either being pushed away from A or being pulled, depending if it's shrinking or reducing. So A and A prime are going to be the same coordinate. We can see that our original shape, A, B, C, D, in the blue, is our pre-image, and our new image is being enlarged. So what we have to do is we have to count what is the length of our original side. So A, B is one, two, three, three units long, and our new side length, A prime, B prime, is six units. So we can see that our dilation was a scale factor of two. So our K value, so we would write our rule. So our dilation, center of dilation is point A, and our scale factor is two. So let's take a look at this example and determine the scale factor. A is six comma negative three. B is six comma negative six and C is three comma negative six. A prime is six comma negative five. B prime is the same as B, so that tells us that this is our center of dilation. And then C prime is five negative six. So looking here, we're not really gonna be able to tell, at least not real quickly, what our scale factor is, but let's look at our image. So the pre-image is our larger triangle, so we know that we are going to have a scale factor between zero and one, because we are shrinking A, B, C. Therefore, let's count. So let's count B, C. Line segment B, C is three units long. Our new B prime, C prime is one. So our scale factor is the new length, one unit, compared to the original, three units. So our scale factor is K, and everything is being pulled toward 
point B. Therefore, our center of dilation is point B with a scale factor of one third. We are shrinking about point B. This time, our pre image is the small triangle, so our a value is negative six, negative one. We can see that A prime is the same, so we know that's our center of dilation. B is negative six, three. C is negative four, negative one. B prime is negative six, seven. You can see our new Coordinates are being pushed away, so we know we are enlarging. And then C prime is negative two, negative one. So let's count the original length. So we can just take a look at AC here. So we have two units. So that's the pre-image length. And then the new length, A prime, C prime is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, so our scale factor is two. The yellow triangle is twice as big as the green triangle. So we have a dilation about point A with a scale factor of two. In this example, they are giving us the center of dilation, which is point A, and they're giving us the scale factor. So let's go ahead and identify our coordinates for our pre image. A is one, negative four. B is 0, 1. C is 7, negative 4. Our point of our center of dilation is, is point A, so that point is going to be the same. Because our scale factor is 1 half, we are shrinking our image, so everything is being pulled toward point A. So I'm simply going to count A, B. It is 1, 2, 3, 4 units long, half of that is two, it's been pulled toward. So our B prime is going to be one negative two. AC is one, two, three, four, five, six units. C is being pulled toward C. So it's half of six, which is three units. So C prime is four negative four. And then A prime is the same. So here is our new image. A prime, B prime, C prime. In this example, we see that our center of dilation is point C. So C is six negative three. So it's gonna remain the same. Everything is gonna be pushed away from six negative three because we have an enlargement. So let's identify A, three negative three. B is three negative one. So we're going to count the lengths. So CA is one, two, three. It's going to be twice that, so it's going to be nine. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So A prime, A is being pushed away from our center of dilation. And then AB is two units. So three times two is six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So B prime, again, is being pushed away from our center, center of dilation, which is C. And then let's go ahead and write that this is also C prime. So A prime is negative three, negative three. B prime is negative three, three. And again, when we're doing dilations, we are creating similar images. A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime are the same shape, but just different sizes. Everything was enlarged proportionately, meaning each side was multiplied by the same value, our scale factor, to create a similar shape. Now, without, let's just have the rule. We're not going to plot these. And our center, to do this without a graph, has to be about the origin. So we're simply going to multiply each coordinate by the scale factor. Multiplying by a unit fraction of one third is the same as dividing by three. So we get four comma negative two. In 
Our next example, our scale factors three halves, which is enlarging. So I am going to multiply negative six times three halves. Two goes into negative six, negative three, and negative three times three is negative nine. Then we multiply by eight. Eight times three halves. I divide two into eight, which is four, and then four times three is 12. That's my new coordinate. Z to Z prime, we are just multiplying by a scale factor of four, and here is our new coordinate. This time, we are looking for the rule, and without a graph, I am assuming that our center of dilation is the origin. Now, when we compare to create the scale factor, you take the new coordinate, such as negative eight, and compare it to the pre-image. So it's new over old. This simplifies by a factor of negative four, and we get two over three, so the scale factor is two thirds. In our second example, I'm going to create our scale factor using the new coordinate 12 and compare it to the original coordinate eight. Again, four divides into both of these and three halves is our scale factor. Our last example, our scale factor is going to be negative six, the new compared to the original. Both of these have a factor of negative three, so I get two over five. So we could see that in example one and three, our pre-image was shrunk, and in problem two, we had an enlargement because our scale factor was more than one.